school was started in 1949. Well, actually, my dad was the bishop of the Honganji. His wife, Aiko, uh, who had been trained in education, wanted to start the school, I guess. My mother, who was brought up here, she was uh, four year old when she came from Japan. So she received a local education in public schools and she went all the way up to normal school to become a teacher. But uh, when she graduated, she found out that she couldn't teach because she was an alien. And so um, I think that uh, remained with her, that uh, wanting to do something in education. And so when the opportunity came, she pushed for the establishment of the school. My mother took the initiative, arranging with the uh, board of directors of the temple to open it up. You know, it was something uh, not done by any you know, Buddhist organization to run an English school. And so it, it was important to my mother that we start a school and make sure it will uh, properly run. It's been all, almost a hundred years since Buddhism came to Hawaii, but through education, we, the Honganye has something very important to contribute to the community. And I think that's the uh, important role I, I feel that uh, the spirit of the mission school is uh, really one of the Hawaiian spirit, one of sharing something unique with the rest of the community. It's more than uh, expected, doing very well. And I think the uh, students are really uh, trained to be good, good students. <laughs> it's uh, overall, you know, both the, uh, the facility as well as the, uh, the teachers, uh, the administration. I think we can be proud of uh, Honganji Mission School doing very well, yeah. The mission school, being of a different origin, uh, has something very unique to contribute to the community. So I think it's, it's always going to be here.